There is no such thing as an absolute or final ending, for it is always followed by a new beginning. The future is ours to shape as we wish. Craft it on a foundation. What? Damn it! What is it? <laughs> the future is yours to shape as you wish. Craft it with hope upon a foundation of peace. Craft it with hope on a foundation of peace. Damn it! Oh well. Anyway, today I'm very excited to start my. Hero Academia. This show is chosen through a very eventful poll on Patreon. I know three things about it. My Hero Academia. I'm guessing that it involves heroes. I'm guessing that it involves academia. I don't know what the Mai is doing in there. We'll figure that out. But enough of the intro ramble. There'll be enough rambling in the video as it is. Let's start with <laughs> season one, episode one of My Hero Academia. Here we go. Opening shot. Very peaceful or not. You want to pretend to be a hero? You I see. A chance without a quirk, Deku. A quirk, huh? I got a lot of those. <laughs> I see. So I'm guessing they each have like distinct superpowers. All men are not created equal. When I was four years old, I learned that some kids have more power than others. But that won't hold me back. Interesting. Huh. So already I can see a lot of potential with the powers. It seems like they just sort of opened themselves up to do whatever they wanted. So it's not as set of a system. The positive of that is there's a lot of room for creativity. He says he has no powers, but I bet he has some kind of like meta power or something like that. I like how in the first minute they've already laid down like a question or a challenge maybe. The idea that people are not born equal. There's so many ways you can go with that. It depends on what you mean, right? Like not everyone's born with the same talents or abilities or circumstances or whatever, you know? But of course there are other levels to think about it as well. You know, like value, potential, things like that. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of interesting designs. Izuku Midoriya. Tatooine Station. Oh, that's one huge super villain. Oh, here we go. Get the, the opening. <laughs> wow. Wow, already I'm overwhelmed by the amount of characters. That's a lot. That that was a, that was a whole lot. Wait, I know this musical artist. Is this the same group that did uh, the GTO opening? I can't remember what they're called. Judging by the beginning so far in this intro, my feeling and also partly my hope is that this will be like lighthearted fun. It would be really nice to have that contrast with Attack on Titan, I think. Yeah, it is. Porno graffiti. I knew it. An extraordinary child was born who radiated light. After that, reports of people with superpowers popped up across the globe. No one knew what was causing these quirks. There's a reason though. The world became a superhuman society with about 80% of the population possessing some uncanny ability. 80%, damn. Our streets look like scenes from comic books. A city swirled with chaos and confusion, a new profession dominated our collective consciousness. It was an age of heroes. Interesting. I feel like this is a huge step backwards. <laughs> it sounds fun, but this, this would probably be terrible. Just think of the economy. I'm getting old. <laughs> a quirk like that, and he's just a petty thief. I got held up. They call them quirks. Interesting. Another villain. I'm not sure when I'm gonna make it into the office. See? The economy! <laughs> it's bad for the economy. All this destruction. Waste of time. They could be working. <laughs> Man, there's just so many designs already. This guy just walks around like that? That's his real superpower. Assault, robbery, and the illegal use of powers during rush hour traffic. You are the incarnation of evil. <laughs> Yeah, man, people gotta get to work. I think you're interrupting something. Yeah, she is huge. I thought I was I was bugging out for a second. <laughs> Alright. We all see it. Yeah, she she's really trying there. Yeah, I guess there's celebrities, right? Like it was more interested in Tree Man though. With the rise of superpowers came an explosive increase in criminal activity. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Those who performed the best were paid the most and got all the fame and glory. Their careers depended on their ability to stay in the spotlight. Interesting. That's a dark twist. You taking notes over there? Want to be a hero too, huh? Uh, yes. He would love it. More than anything. Huh. Wow. 
this society <laughs> it's a weird thing to think about and imagine honestly i feel like it wouldn't be that that different you know like it would be inconvenient <laughs> to have to deal with this but like we already have that you know what i mean like the fact that there are 80 percent of people who have powers it ends up breaking down somewhat similarly to real life where like people could do villainous things at any time but are sort of kept in check by society right like there's still a societal force that'll probably end up balancing out. I guess it's a little bit different because there's like extremes and there are differences in powers. You never really know how that'll shape up. More interesting to me though is like that last part where it seems like the heroes have a weird incentive to want the villainy. First prediction of the show, <laughs> that's going to be a thing. There are going to be heroes who do questionable things to maintain their careers. It'll be evil under the guise of good, which is interesting. Episode one, Yuzuka Midoriya, origin. <laughs> no, you all want to go into the hero track. Yes, yes, you oh, got man. some very impressive quirks. I'm the real deal, but these guys will be lucky to end up as sidekicks to some busted D-lister. Is that the bully from the beginning? You think you're better than us, Katsuki? Let's go, I'll take you Katsuki. all Katsuki. <laughs> You've got impressive test results. Maybe you will get into UA High. Now, would you please put on a shirt? <laughs> I mean, legit, this is school. This hero thing is destroying society. I didn't know what to expect today, but one thing I did not expect was to be talking about economics. This is not... This is not feasible. Society cannot support this. <laughs> like, not everybody can be a superhero. You can't have your main good or your main industry be preventing the destruction of industry. It's a circle. It neutralizes itself out. Nothing happens. There's no food. This society is doomed. I give it 10 years. Economic collapse and recession. I'll end up more popular than All Might himself. All Might. And be the richest hero of all time. And also the most humble. <laughs> I could be the first one. <laughs> Deku, you're even worse than the rest of these damn rejects, you quirkless wannabe! But I can still try my hardest, can I? You'd never be able to hang with the best of the best! You'd die in the exams! I feel like there are other ways to go, you know? Like, if everybody has powers, then it's sort of whatever. Remember when we didn't have to worry about randos with quirks all the time? Right? Remember we could get to work? Is this the Almighty or whatever they call them? I am here! When I'm the only student from this garbage junior high to get into UA, people will start talking about me like that. They'll realize I'm legit, the next big thing. That's not ego talking, I just know I'm good. <laughs> That's a great line, actually. I'm sure it's not ego at all. You know, if you really want to be a hero that badly, there actually might be another way. Just pray that you'll be born with a quirk in your next life. And take a swan dive off the roof of the building. <laughs> Man, what a bitter... Bunch of jerks. Something wrong. Generally speaking, I'm a pretty good-natured person. I try not to be judgmental, but this is something that always rubs me the wrong way. I just don't like overt meanness, and it's not only because of the fact that it's mean. It's also that it just makes you look weak. With some qualities, the more you try to exhibit them, the less people see them in you. Like, for example, this guy does not seem confident despite his excessive attempts to appear so. Likewise, he does not appear strong. Idiot. You can't go around telling people to kill themselves. What if I really yeah. jumped? What would he do then? <laughs> Probably brag about it. My dreams have turned into fish food. That's all right. Your dreams are not the book. I don't know why you like it. I think it's scary. <laughs> the video I loved was an old one. Disaster footage from a long time. YouTube. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube. Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived. Hmm. That intro for the show, though, and Attack on Titan, have made me way too cynical. I'm already suspicious of this guy. I gotta be a hero just like him! Mm-hmm. 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 My records say you're a fourth-generation quirk user. What powers do you and the boy's father have? Nothing too special. Well, four generations already? Float small objects towards me and my husband breathes fire. So there's a genetic component. People with powers have only one joint in their pinky toes. Their bodies have evolved into a more streamlined version of the human form. Hmm. You can see here that Izuku has two joints in his pinky. Based on the research that's available, it's safe to say your son isn't going to develop a quirk. So they said nobody knows exactly why heroes appeared. But now they're talking about evolution, which is interesting. I hope they go somewhere with that. A more streamlined form of humans. The show seems lighthearted, but I feel like there are some interesting things they could they could do with some of the things they've set up here so far. Like the inherent inequality of our births. That's a tricky one. The idea of human progress. Surface evaluations of good and evil versus actual good and evil. And unrealized dreams or desires. I like his mom. She seems really sweet. No dad in the picture, I guess. Face, no matter how bad things get. 
Even when things seem impossible, he never gives up. Oh. Do you think I can be a hero too? I wish things were different. It'll be all right. This is a very meta moment for me because I'm trying to take inspiration from a show about heroes in which someone takes inspiration from a YouTube video about a hero. That's how you do it though. That's what it is. Y'all keep smiling just like him. <sighs> You gonna judge so quickly? How do you know? Alright, well he's a villain. I think I'm dying. No way. This can't be the end. Somebody. Well, if you have a power or a quirk or whatever, now would be the time. Oh! I think I know what it is gonna be. He just saw that picture. Was that a hint? I feel like he'll be able to take on multiple powers. <laughs> Texas Smash. There's no Smash better than than that. I can't pull together. That's what happens when you get hit with the power of Texas. Usually, I pay more attention to keeping bystanders safe, but it turns out this city sewer system is pretty difficult to navigate. <laughs> I've captured the evildoer. What does he make soda out of his victims? I gotta get an autograph. I've got a pen around here somewhere. <laughs> Please sign my notebook! <gasps> he already did! did. <laughs> this is real superpower. Preemptive autographs. You're leaving? Already? Pro heroes are constantly fighting time as well as enemies. Tell me about it. I'm taking off! Texas jump! <laughs> Thanks for your continued support! <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Yeah, it's a little bit clingy there. I just have a lot of things I want to ask you personally! Man, all my trying to be polite and this is how you're gonna do them. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he just cursed. I did not expect that. See you on the flip side! Wait, all my just done with this. One second! No! I don't have any time! I have to know! Could I ever hope to be someone like you? <laughs> that smile. <laughs> Standing in front of me was the hero I'd idolized most of my life. Yeah, what he says is a make or break thing for him. I didn't realize it at the time, but that chance encounter would change the course of my future. Aww. Well, the answer to the question will be very important for judging the character of All Might. But it's sort of less important for Deku. I mean, the answer, I think, is kind of obvious. And maybe where the show's going. The answer is, of course, yes. It just depends on what you mean <laughs> by hero. Like, can he develop powers? I don't really know. I mean, I'm guessing he has a power. But does it matter? Probably not so much. He could still be someone with heroic qualities, which I feel like is more important. You know, like, in a world where 80% where of people are heroes, it's sort of like whatever, you know? You'd get used to it. And it would also be highly reliant on what your power was, which is no different from actual life, you know? That's what they set up in the beginning, right? like we're all born different, which is true. Think about like, you know, professional athletes, you know, I'll never be an NBA player. I had a lot stacked against me because even though I'm reasonably tall, I'm not NBA basketball tall. So if the question is, can I be an NBA basketball player? The question is probably no. But if the question is, can I live a great life and be a great person? Why not? Absolutely, you know? And I think that's way more important. I understand the, the reality of agonizing over things you're not. Having a dream of a specific occupation or a specific ability or a certain goal that just seems not in your capabilities. I understand that all too well. And it, it hurts but there's a much bigger game to be played and i think like the fixation on those those individual things is somehow missing a bigger picture which is that the goal is just like fulfillment the reason why we aspire to those things at all is for for that feeling you know for the feeling of happiness or feeling like we are someone of value or getting certain individual things that we want but it's a mistake to over fixate on any one thing to think that that will will be the the vehicle for those those great things there are countless paths to that place i feel and some of the best paths will be the ones that are grounded in what you actually are and in reality and so while i think there are specific things or specific circumstances i'll never have or never experience it sort of doesn't matter because those things are just tools to get to other things that I can have. Their value lies in getting me towards things that I want that are, you know, more general, more universal to the human experience. And I don't feel like those are off limits to just about anybody. It just depends on, you know, what you're actually looking for, how conscious you are about what you really want, and then finding a way to use your skills while being self-honest to get to a place where you actually do feel fulfilled by, you know, by your life and who you are. Further proof of that is I guarantee you a lot of these really famous heroes are miserable. They're like stuck in a cycle of like, <laughs> having to constantly stay in the spotlight because they have the mistaken idea that that is what brings value to their lives. And I'm guessing that some of them are gonna trade actual value for that feeling. Like they'll devalue themselves in order to maintain that that sort of 
artificial high they're on about being famous. And there's no substance in that to be had long term. Deku at least has some some positive qualities, you know, like determination. That's a thing. He's principled like many protagonists. <laughs> he obviously has a good heart. He's not malicious. He's a hard worker. He has goals. He's resilient. And so while I suspect that he will develop powers and probably have an ultimate power because he's the protagonist and, you know, why else would we be focusing on Deku? I feel like that's going to be a strong area of exploration, the quality of their characters over the, the quality of their superpowers. So yeah, that's the end of episode one. My impression of the show is that it's going to be lighthearted fun. There's definitely a lot of creative potential for the, the powers and therefore the action. I also think it'll be fun to explore some of these hero tropes, right? Because heroes are such a big, big mainstay of culture, but there's a lot of weirdness surrounding it, I think, and a lot of confusion about what heroism actually is. And my impression is that the show is self-aware enough to be commenting on that. And I don't know how deeply the show will go into these things, but I feel like there is potential for some kind of rare and unexplored territory thematically, like inequality and the limitations of one's birth. You know, these are these are some challenging, challenging things that are sort of hard to think about, but also really exciting for me at least. And also by the end of the show, we will have had many thorough discussions about economics because <laughs> this is not, this is not a, a society that can function. You just can't have, you just can't live in a world where that's the main industry preventing destruction. It just doesn't work. I hope there are quirks that give people the power of insurance. I'll see you guys next time when we find out what's the deal with this question that he asked to All Might. There was something significant about that moment.